Hey, this is Coach Bill, three and five, and we are doing a product review on the Rainy Sun waterproof socks. Now, before we get into how I feel about them, let's talk about the different specs. These weigh about four ounces. They're made up of three different layers: an outer layer, an inner layer, and a liner. Now, the outer layer is made up of 74% of high waterproof nylon. And then another 23% of Lycra and 3% of elastic. So the reason why I initially bought these socks is because on one of my trips that I took I ended up going to Blood Mountain and the trail was so wet and I was wearing my trail runner shoes and I was wearing wool socks my feet got soaking wet by the time I got to the top of Blood Mountain my feet were freezing so I was like, I need a better solution if I'm going to be backpacking in the winter time. So I bought these socks, these waterproof socks, thinking like, yeah, this is going to be the Mecca. And so I tried them out. They worked fine. I was able to stick my foot into water. And they were, yeah, a little cold on the outside, but they were dry. But after about... An hour, maybe an hour and a half, my foot started heating up, sweating, and it became a big swamp box. And I was like, these gotta go. Another time, I took them out to Shining Rock, and the trail was just so wet. It was so wet. And my feet were just wet the whole time. I used those socks, and by the end of the night, the socks were soaking wet and I felt like I was wearing about another five pounds on my feet. The next morning, put them on, still wet, cold, nasty. So I decided to switch things up a little bit. I did bring an extra pair of wool socks. I put on the wool socks and yeah, I actually preferred hiking with the wool socks better in the winter time at this, during this trip because of the simple fact that yeah, my foot got wet, but one important thing is they stayed warm, and by the end of the night, they were dry. And same with my shoes. They were dry as well. So, do I recommend these socks? Yeah, you know, I probably would wear them in the wintertime. I, I'm still not sold on these right here. I still prefer wearing the wool socks. I wanted to test these out, and I tested them. And yeah, they didn't work for me. But if you guys have like another idea where these actually do work or another brand that works, go ahead and leave a comment below because I would love to test them out and find like a good waterproof sock because I love to wear my trail runner shoes and I hate wearing my boots because when I wear the boots, I get little blisters on the back of my heel and I can't stand it. So leave a comment below and Try to give me like some other ideas on waterproof socks that actually work. Well, that's Coach Bill 305, and I'm out of here. Catch you guys later. Yeah, buddy. Hey, this is Coach Bill 305, and today we are... <laughs>